We say it's a controlled chaos, and that's what we're trying to teach them. How you doing there, Mr. Thomas? All right, we're going to help you here, okay? You stay calm. You got no pulse in the right leg either. Welcome to a mass casualty incident for a team of first responders. The scenario, three patients, one of them a six-year-old child, life-threatening injuries, and a sandstorm on the way in one to two hours. Who do you treat first? How do you handle the stress of war? Oh, man, why can't I feel that? I can't feel that. Why can't I feel that? It's all part of the final exam for the Air Force Center for Sustainment of Trauma and Readiness Skills, or CSTARS team, through the Trauma Department at St. Louis University Hospital. I'm just trying to give them a sense of what it's like to really be overwhelmed because you know, we, at home we, we, we practice for mass casualties. Uh, they're an abstraction, you know, they're a what if. And over there it's not a what if, it's just a when. St. Louis University Hospital is one of three trauma centers in the U.S., part of the prestigious Sea Stars program. These first responders are being ready to deliver care in combat zones where your operating room is a mash tent and your patients could be anyone. You will never know who is the insurgent. You know, from who is the um, innocent bystander. You just don't know. You cannot predict it. People will say rumors, and it's very much a rumor. It'll get figured out later, but right then and there is not the time, you know, to play judge and jury. Just base it on medical need. Can I get you to negative? And while today's combat zone is a simulation lab, these are patients who breathe, bleed, and feel. The first responders need a new mindset. Here we have limited resources such as low blood supply, equipment that doesn't always work, and limited time. These simulated patients have a pulse, heartbeat, and just like the real world, can slip away fast. Um, we had a six-year-old. Um, it was a blast injury. The bleeding injuries, um, chest injuries, and lung injuries. We you know, worked his airway. We decompressed the lung. The airway, we got our airway in too late. And simulated patient or not, it hurts when you lose one and realize upon debrief there was more you could have done. But this is the gritty world of emergency medicine where roadside bombs could be exploding outside the door and anything can happen. We try to immerse them as much as possible in every aspect of trauma we can. And we have a, a great partnership with St. Louis University in that aspect where we get to be part of their trauma service and their trauma team. So anything that comes in as a trauma all our rotators are expected to you know, be there and take part in you know, work shifts in the emergency room, work shifts in the ICU, and try to get as much trauma aspect as they can in 11 days. And then the experience that we had in the ICU and the ED and um, the EMS ride-alongs here at SLU have helped tremendously. With their C-STAR certification, these first responders could be called for care to combat zones any time. Do they feel ready? It's a little bit nervous. I don't know what I'm going to be seeing, but... I feel I'm a lot better prepared now from coming from this because I had no trauma experience. St. Louis University Hospital's commitment to supporting enlisted employees has won recognition throughout the military. CEO Crystal Haynes was recently honored receiving the Patriot Award from the Department of Defense. During the ceremony, she signed an official statement of support on behalf of the hospital. The statement represents a commitment to managers and supervisors that they have the tools they need to manage employees who serve in the Guard and Reserve. The statement also indicates support for families of those who serve our country in peacetime, crises, and in war. Ready? One, two, three, go. Sea Stars is about saving lives in sometimes dangerous conditions. They talk about in, in combat the golden hour of, of trauma where in that first hour if you if the patient doesn't succumb to an IED or a gunshot wound or a firefight we try to do as much as we can in that first hour to stabilize them and minimize any long-term damage that might come about and get them to definitive care. All the Sea Stars instructors have experience treating casualties in a combat zone. These students listen and learn from their mistakes here in the lab. You guys did CPR twice. Yeah. So what was his injury? What did he come in complaining about? He was talking to you, right? Yeah. The patient started moaning, so we stopped. And what, what happened? He fell off a guard tower about 30 feet. He's got an L2 burst fracture and a fractured tip fit. Okay. He shouldn't die from that. He might be paralyzed, but he shouldn't die from that. But all agree it's better to make mistakes here than on the battlefield. Some of these first responders already have a deployment date where their skills will be tested. Many Air Force first responders in the war zone right now first got their training right here at St. Louis University Hospital. 
coming here to St. Louis University and working on, on ambulance, it was actual hands-on. When trauma came in, you were in there, it was not a mannequin. You saw really how it's done. Um, the controlled chaos, how everybody gets in there, how you need to communicate and work together as a team, um, know where all your supplies are. It was, it was real life, so it was, it was fantastic.